Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today we have Wendy's uh, chicken asiago sandwich, french fries, and a double stack in the back here. And we're talking about how man, I am beat. So guys, um, wow. Wendy's french fries, uh, I'm not too impressed with their french fries. Like usually they come out a bit soggy and as you can tell, they are a bit soggy. They're not super crunchy. I mean, sure, they taste like your typical French fry, but other restaurants just tend to have more crispier French fries. But who am I to complain? Who am I to complain? Wendy's is also surprisingly expensive, as I mentioned before. Like this little meal here, it was almost $10. That's pretty up there in terms of fast food pricing. Even though Wendy's chicken sandwich, or their Asiago chicken sandwich, which has a little bit of mayo there, tomato, that Asiago cheese, a little bit of bacon in there. I mean, Wendy's chicken is usually pretty dang good. They do a good quality control on their chicken. So let's go ahead and try this out. Get a good cross section there, not too bad. Put, put together fairly well. Tomato on there. The bun is a little bit hard. It's a little bit hard. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's an old bun or what. But the sandwich itself tastes good. That Asiago cheese and that chicken kind of blend well together. Give it a whole depth of flavor. Yep, bacon and chicken with that mayo. It's a combination that just is timeless, you know? You know, Asiago cheese, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever bought Asiago cheese in a store. I've only had it at fancy restaurants where they obviously mix it with their chicken sandwiches. Not to say that Wendy's is super fancy, but Asiago cheese, it's an oddity. Definitely an oddity. Now that I think about it though, it pretty much just tastes like a blue cheese. So I mean, you know, not too much difference there. So today's discussion. Hold on a second, let me grab my drink. <clears throat> it's just a Dr. Pepper from Wendy's. Ooh. Okay, 
that sandwich can uh, dry you out there. So, um, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm so, so beat. Like my time and my day has been just filled to the brim with doing stuff constantly. Between my job, my kid, and gaming and making videos and random errands, I find that I'm working like 27 hour days and it's just, oh my gosh, I've made a video like this before, but today at work, I was literally, you ever just have one of those moments where you're sitting there, it kind of gets quiet and you just kind of nod off in a random place? I totally passed out at work. Just lights out. I didn't sleep for very long, maybe like five minutes, but but the fact that I was that tired that I just could not stay awake, you know? So, I think it's time to somehow fit some R&R &R into my schedule. You guys ever have a situation like that where you just, your, your mind is awake but your body just says it's time to shut down for a couple minutes and you just are off to dreamland. Let me know. <laughs> it's interesting sometimes when you have situations like that because you're just, you're just out of it. You're just like, you can't take it anymore. But also, that's a clear sign that exhaustion levels are really high. And uh, prolonged exhaustion is not a good thing for your body, guys. If you go long enough with too much lack of sleep or exhaustion, uh, your body starts to do very weird and bad things to you. And eventually can lead to some major health problems. But, I'm sure I'll fit in some time to hit the hay and get some Z's. In fact, after this is finished, I might just take a nap. And of course, it's also not good to nap after you eat a heavy meal like this, but hey, <laughs> I deserve it, right? And yes, I do not eat ketchup or mustard with my fries. Occasionally, yes, but most of the time, no. Back to this delicious bacon, chicken, Asiago. Now that I think about it, <clears throat> that chicken sandwich was uh, actually a lot drier than usual 
for Wendy's at least. Let's hit up this Dr. Pepper real quick. All right, and then <laughs> for the second round, we have just a plain double double stack, I guess they call it, from Wendy's. This bun is a little bit softer. Um, it's stuck with some pickles, some mayo, mustard, no, mustard, ketchup, little onion on there, and it's just a double stack of beef. A typical burger. But Wendy's beef is uh, fresh and never frozen, right? So it should be delicious. Yeah, it is. Um, Wendy's definitely doesn't spice their burger as much as, like, say, McDonald's or Burger King does. But it's still got that unique, delicious flavor. Guys, what are your favorite items from Wendy's? <clears throat> I usually don't order the specialty items because they're so dang expensive compared to just like the value menu. Where you basically get the same thing. I mean, chicken is chicken and beef is beef, but the price comparison between this $2 burger and that, what, like almost $8 sandwich, it's, it's definitely something to consider when you go to a restaurant like Wendy's. I once had a friend who all he would order from Wendy's, and he loved Wendy's, so he'd go there quite often. All he would order from Wendy's is the spicy chicken sandwich combo, which I think totaled up to like, I don't know, nine, 10, 11 dollars. And I was like, but dude, it's a spicy chicken sandwich, yes, and it's a thicker cut of chicken, but you're literally paying like, I don't know, $6 premium compared to just a couple of normal chicken sandwiches and maybe a french fry and a small drink. It's, it's a huge price hike for a select piece of chicken with some spice on it. But uh, he was steadfast and man, that's all he would eat. From Wendy's at least. I guess some people just like what they like, right? You can't really make up a person's mind as to what they prefer in terms of quality, taste, and consistency. Okay guys, well, it's time for me to go lay down for a while. Remember, don't exhaust yourself too much. Keep in tune with your body. Take care of yourself. And remember to game, eat, and discuss. I'll catch you next time, guys.